For nursery, reception and year one aged uh, pupils, we, we make vehicles by collecting small cardboard boxes and we just glue wheels on. Um, for year two I run a workshop where we, we build upon this experience and we actually make the wheels turn round. Um, because I sometimes uh, work with free classes making 90 moving vehicles, uh, it's, it's not possible to turn up with 90 boxes. So um, I design um, a, a net um, using a computer program called Coral Draw, and then um, I enlarge the net on the photocopier onto uh, car, a free card, and then the pupils can then colour in uh, the bus, add some passengers, a driver, um, when they do the passengers on the other side, I sometimes have to remind them to turn the card round, otherwise all the passengers will be standing on their head. Um, after they've coloured in their, their school bus, uh, they have to cut it out. Now this is quite a challenging thing to do, uh, they're still learning how to use um, scissors, uh, but I, I, I find that they, they cope fairly well. Um, by the way, all these dotted fold lines, um, I've actually pre-scored these using uh, a screwdriver and a ruler. I've scratched along all these lines. It's very tedious but well worth doing because it makes uh, folding up the net much, much easier. So after we've cut out the net, that's the uh, shape, uh, we then have to fold it up. Folding is another skill. You can see how easily it folds because I've scored the lines. And fold all the tabs as well. There we go, that's all the fold lines folded and um, Sticking it together is very difficult for year two and to be honest I, I do need to give them a lot of help but once we've got that long edge uh, stuck together they can usually um, stick the ends themselves. Um, I make sure the tab goes inside, it looks neater and the way I do it is I lay it down on the table, get a, a long piece of sticky tape, put it half on and half off and then bring the tab up, tuck it in, make sure the ends line up and fold over the sellotape. Now we can stick down the back of the bus with a piece of tape. I just wrap it round like that. And the front of the bus That. There you go. So that's the body of the vehicle. Um, next, we're going to. We, we could stick the uh, uh, wheels directly onto the bottom, but um, I actually give them um, a, a separate piece. This is the chassis. Uh, you could use cardboard. This is Corex. Um, it's a stronger material than the card, and we're going to stick that down to the bottom of the vehicle. Always have to keep an eye open for any any pupil who tries to stick it on the roof. Another piece of tape near the end. There we go. Now we're going to add the wheels and I'm going to use my usual technique for making wheels uh, move. I'm going to run them inside two pieces of jumbo straw. This is jumbo plastic straw. We're going to cut it in half and then stick the two pieces of straw down. Just one piece of sellotape is all that's needed. Try and get it straight. And this is a, another workshop that does take about 90 minutes. Then, once you've got the two straws stuck on, I've trimmed them back to leave just a little bit sticking out to stop the wheels from rubbing on the side of the bus. Okay, um, 
finally we're going to add the wheels. I've got some 4mm dowel here. Uh, this is a, quite a nice push fit. doesn't need any glue. It's not always the case. Slide it through and we've got enough axle sticking out for the put the wheel on the other side. Uh, push them together but leave a little gap. Make sure that they spin really well. And then the same the other side. Together, leave a little gap and if you've made a good job of your bus it should roll really well you should be able to blow it along and um, to make it a little bit more exciting you could add um, a magnet here I've got some um, self-adhesive uh, strip magnet material so that you could join your buses together so that's my uh, moving vehicle school bus for year two